Our next guest, and then we're going to have to stop the loving, uh, is another entrepreneur who wants to talk about her business, and that's Cindy Berg from, uh, of the firm Fuel for Fire. And we will be posting your pictures on our pages so that people know what Fuel for Fire is. But before that, can you tell us? Absolutely. Thanks Great. for having me. Thank you. Uh, Fuel for Fire is a nutrition company, and we offer innovative products for people who are looking to eat clean on the go while they're active. Um, and the company was basically born out of my personal need and the need of a lot of adults for healthier nutrition options. Um, the, the premise behind the company is eat real food, and our products reflect that. Every ingredient in our product comes from an actual food, and the product's called a fuel pack, and we like to refer to it as perfect nutrition in a pouch. And what it allows you to do is to have real food wherever you are on the go. And the product's shelf-stable, so it could be in your gym bag, it could be in your glove compartment, it could be in your briefcase when you're traveling, and you know you'll always have a healthy mix of carbohydrates from fruit and protein. Um, so every fuel pack has 10 grams of whey protein isolate, which is a the right. gold standard in sports nutrition, way. yep. And fruit, right. berries, apples, pears, bananas, etc. And that's pretty much it. Are you the self-made food technologist or did you get somebody? Oh, no. <laughs> I definitely had to borrow help. Um, the product originally was cold. It was a refrigerated product. And just to sort of let you know how we got there, I was eating my kids' applesauce pouches. Um, I started following right. a paleo diet right. uh, about five years ago, and um, it was easy to do, except when I was in a rush and I was very busy. And in the morning before I would head out for a five o'clock class at the gym, I would grab one of my kids' go-go squeeze or fruit squeezer pouches, and they were really good. They were just healthy carbohydrates, pretty much just fruit in there. Right. But what it was missing was protein, which adults need. So we had a lot of trial and error, a lot of you know fits and starts to get it right. Um, and we were initially just making these refrigerated products in a small commercial kitchen. People found out about it, were ordering in higher quantities than we can keep up with, and we knew that we needed to move to the shelf-stable product. So we brought in, we worked with a food technology company out in California. We brought in in-house expertise. I hired a uh, director of product development, and we eventually, after many, many long nights <laughs> and long days, um, we came up with the product that we have now. So, so what do you see as the challenges going forward? I mean, I mean, it's a it's a wonderful story that you're telling, and and it's really exciting to listen to. Yeah. Um, but what do you see as the challenges going forward? Yeah, I would say our greatest challenge, and we're right at the sort of precipice of it right now, is taking this product from something that really has resonated with a specific group, and that's hardcore athletes, and moving it beyond that into that next circle more of- More mainstream. More mainstream, what we call the everyday athlete, and even beyond that. So we've had to change a lot about how we talk about the product, how we market the product, the words we use to make sure that we're appealing to more of a mainstream consumer as time goes on. Does your product is right now is to get consumed by, by more by one gender versus the other? It slightly skews towards women, but not, you know, I would say it might be 60-40. I mean, I try it, point. but, you know. Yeah, and I, yeah. I would try it too. I yeah. mean, I you know, wh when I first saw it, I was kind of thinking, gee, this is kind of cool, you know, a pouch and you know, you can throw it in the backpack or, yeah. you know, you can take it on a hike or something yeah. like that, yeah. you know, for some quick food. Well, I'll take one with me away food. scuba diving when I go scuba diving. Definitely. To try to see how it works yeah. versus a banana because usually I grab a banana right. or something. And you, it's hard to travel with a water. banana sometimes. Bananas turn back. Yeah, quickly. absolutely. And a lot of, that's why a lot of triathletes really enjoy the product. You know, before a race, they would want to have mostly carbohydrates and a little bit of protein. And carrying a banana around in your race bag is a really difficult oh. thing to do. Yeah.